Mike Fultonevich, a 28-year-old 6'4 flamethrower from Sterling, Illinois, who at his peak nearly rose to be the ace of the Atlanta Braves rotation. A key piece of a franchise rebuild focused on starting pitching. So, why didn't he rise to be that ace? Well, let's start by going back to his roots as a professional baseball player. In the 2010 draft, Mike Fultonevich was selected at number 19 overall in the first round directly out of high school by the Houston Astros. He got off to a rocky start in their minor league system, sporting ERAs of 4.03 and 4.97, but quickly turned it around as the Astros minor league pitcher of the year in 2012. He then rose to be the organization's number four prospect, according to Baseball America, and that earned him a promotion to the big leagues on August 4th, 2014. He was mainly used as a reliever out of the bullpen, sporting a 5.30 ERA over 16 appearances. That would be it for Fulte in the Astros uniform. On January 15th, 2015, Mike Fultonevich was traded to the Atlanta Braves along with Rio Ruiz and Andrew Thurman in exchange for Evan Gaddis and James Hoyt. He started four games for the Gwinnett Braves, throwing a 2.08 ERA over 21 innings and recording 30 strikeouts. He was ready to make his debut, especially for a Braves team that wasn't close to competing for division titles yet. On May 1, 2015, he made his Braves debut to replace Trevor Cahill in the rotation. He wasn't too bad. He only gave up two runs over five innings, getting his first career win and even a two-RBI double at the plate. The rest of that season became an endless roundabout for Fulte between going back and forth between Atlanta and AAA Gwinnett and the many trips to the doctor. He suffered multiple illnesses and injuries, including Cossiochondroma, pneumonia, and blood clots in his pitching arm, because of which he had to remove the anterior half of his first rib to get rid of the clots. In 2016 and 2017, he spent most of his time with the big league club recording 431 and 479 ERAs, respectively. He did show some sparks of a number four overall prospect by taking a no-hitter against the Oakland A's into the ninth inning, which he later blew by giving up a home run to the leadoff man. Now, here's where it gets interesting. In winter of 2018, Fultonevich signed a one-year contract worth $2.2 million to avoid arbitration. Fulte was determined to make this his breakout year, and so were the Atlanta Braves. He even modified his pitching windup in spring training to keep his movements more consistent. He made the starting rotation again on opening day and never looked back that year. Fulte measured up a 2.66 ERA before the All-Star break that year, including a complete game shutout against the Washington Nationals on June 1st. A month later, he was named to the National League All-Star team. His rise to the A status mirrored his teams as the Braves were finally competing for a division title that year. He went on to record over 200 strikeouts that year, becoming the first Brave to do so since Javier Vasquez in 2009. But, unfortunately, Fulte wouldn't see the same success again in a Braves uniform. He, of course, was named the Game 1 starter for the Braves that year in the NLDS against the Los Angeles Dodgers, and didn't fare well. Giving up four runs, three hits, and three walks after just two innings. Entering the 2019 season, he was unanimously regarded as the Braves' ace. After reporting elbow discomfort during his only spring training appearance, Fulte would miss opening day, leaving it to Braves legend Julio Tehran for the sixth straight year. On April 27, 2019, after one rehab game at AAA Gwinnett, he made a season debut for the Braves against the Rockies. Less than two months later, he was sent back down to AAA after going 2-5 with a 6.37 ERA in just 11 starts. On August 6th, he was recalled to replace Kevin Gosman and finished the season with a renaissance of last season, throwing a 2.65 ERA in 10 starts. The Braves were convinced that Fulte was back to his all-star caliber form, giving him two starts in the NLDS. Game 2, he won, and Game 5, he did not achieve the same result. On October 9th, 2019, Mike Fultonevich was the starting pitcher for Game 5 of the NLDS against the St. Louis Cardinals. 
Mike fulton gave one of the worst playoff pitching performances in baseball history. He lasted only 23 pitches and recorded one out. Before being pulled in the first inning, he gave up three hits and three walks. And at the end of the inning, he was charged with a total of seven runs. More runs than he gave up in the entire month of September. The Braves would lose the game 13-1 and be eliminated from the playoffs in the NLDS for the second straight year. After an all-time embarrassing performance, Mike fulton looked to 2020 to bounce back. But it just wasn't meant to be. He gave up back-to-back-to-back home runs in an exhibition performance against the Marlins. And coaches saw his velocity dip from high 90s to 89. They gave him one last chance to prove himself in his first regular season start of the year against the Tampa Bay Rays. After giving up three more home runs and six runs in just a three and a third innings, Fulte was pulled, and after the game, Brian Snicker announced that fulton would be designated for assignment the very next day. Now, after a few days, Fulte cleared waivers and was outrighted to AAA Gwinnett to rehab what could have been a furious fast arm. But would this be the last time we see Mike fulton with the big league club? So, where did it go wrong for Fulte? Was it his inability to recognize his own faults when confronted with criticism? Was it his significant weight loss after the 2019 season? Or was it something else? Mike fulton was once seen as a top prospect in two organizations. At his height, he was an all-star and seen as a possible cornerstone of the Braves' rotation for years to come. With pitching being such a mental game, the fall-off can be a lot quicker than the rise. One of his marquee traits proved to be his velocity during his rise to the big leagues, and ironically enough, his velocity ended up deciding his fate with the Atlanta Braves. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave your thoughts down in the comments, and turn that notification button on to get all things MLB and Atlanta Braves baseball. Thanks for watching.